Alright, so y'all, this vehicle, demo number two with the JLAW7s. And they got real close last time. Let's see what they do this, this time. I'm playing with the signal a little bit. I'm going to stay out of clipping though, okay? No clipping. No clipping. I'm going to show you that. I got the meter in the kick. Uh, we're going to roll in it. We're going to start the volume 20. The song's going to be uh, my homie, Marilyn Monroe, part two, K Camp. I want y'all to really, oh, I can't show you that. I can't not turn it this way. Well, maybe if I turn it here, you can see it. Zoom in on it. There we go. Okay. The amp is at three quarters. No, one quarter the amp. That's, that's the thing right there. I'm holding it 14.4. I'm going to show you what's happening midway through the video. So I have the amp at three quarters of its power. Let's move a pre out. Let me show you how that. Uh, this uh, audio settings, silver pre-out is maxed. Maxed out there, but on my remote gain knob, was what I call it, I have it at a quarter, at nine o'clock. I'll let y'all see the nine, 12, three, or whatever. So I'm right here at, make sure, I mean, nine, nine o'clock. A quarter of the signal, a quarter of the, a quarter of the signal it's being used and amplified, so it's not there. That there two one the two do three on voice calls the wide and parallel. I'm at one point five on low. Probably gonna rise to two two something like that. The amp does fifteen hundred and two, and I'm not using all that power. I do have the Epi at three. Y'all can see that it's three o'clock. So I'm using a lot of the Epi. I'm adding voltage there at lower frequencies. So with that being said, let's go and turn it back around. So y'all can see and watch what happens as I mess with the volume. The pencil meter. Let's go.
Oh, so, 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 what we got here? What we got here? What do y'all think? Me, personally, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I mean, I can't, I was trying to play with the signal. I can't give it the full power of the M2500. They rated a thousand. They rated five hundred watts RMS. Roughly, that's about all the power they take it, man. I'm dead serious. I don't care what y'all see on the internet. These jokers, they, I cannot turn the amp up. When I turn turn the amp up, they do good on high. But when you start dropping low, and I showed y'all, I'm not clipping. I'm not clipping, and and I I can't I can't turn them up. So I'm happy with the performance I'm getting them, getting out of them. People will hear you before they see you. You got two of them in the vehicle, people will hear you before you see you in the truck. When the truck's set up, they know how to specialize in that. You have two eights, two of these eights, you're going to do it 136 at 34 hertz, for sure. On music, I mean, depending on what the song is, it might be more than that. It might be lower than that. Anyway, I don't think it's going to be able to survive in the low, low reasons. It is 20-year-old tech, man. It's good, but it's 20-year-old tech, man. And, and I can't apply more power. I know y'all heard the pops in there. Yeah, I'm not going to keep doing that with this. This is a very expensive driver. So this is the last video. They're coming out. Uh, they did a great job. They are SQ King. They sound phenomenal. They do have the ability to get loud. But uh, but, but uh, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. I, I got to have that. I got to have that. I got to have that. I got to. You, you, y'all, come on, man. Y'all see. Y'all see. Y'all uh, y'all know what that is right there, man. That's the, the gorilla lurker. See, they, they let you know that he, he, he sound good. He's, he's a mind sub. He's a mind sub. Sound good to your mind. But when that when that, that face is shown, you know, it's all that. It's that gorilla. It's that beat. It's that 140 plus, baby. Below 30. Below 33, baby. We get heavy, man. Get heavy. My holiday job. Peace.